What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today we have Arkansas State's top four, and this is actually a rematch. Uh, let me make sure what it is. I'm pretty sure round number four we saw the same matchup. Oh yeah, yep. Round number four we saw Manny playing the Vescu Balpum versus J uh, Jackson playing the Greninja deck, but this time around they swap sides. Jackson is on the left, and on the right we see Manny. But if you haven't seen their decks, here is Jackson playing his Greninja break deck. Um, one rare candy, one fishman. We make sure I fix this real quick. I know people ask me what's the energy count and stuff like that. If I can scroll down, uh, the energy is eight water, and then it plays uh, two muscle band, two wally. So there you go. That's his list. Uh, if you give me a second, we'll see Manny's list once again, and we'll see what happens in top four. Alright, on the right we have Manny playing his Fest Queen Balapum deck one more time. He does play Toxicrow to help out against the Aegis Slash Revitalize to get two Grass Pokemon out of his discard pile if he needs to. One AZ, two Skyla, two uh, Sycamore, and one Lysander. But let's see what happens in this match. I'm pretty sure Jackson won the last game, if I remember correctly. So let's see if Jackson can, Jackson can win it, or will Manny take him down this time around. But let's see what happens in the game right now. Alright guys, here is Arkansas State's top four. Like I said, on the left, we have Jackson playing his Greninja break deck. And on the right, we have Manny playing his Vesquia Vapu deck. Like I said, both players have already played before, but last time, uh, Jackson did win it. So let's see what happens. Will Greninja take the win one more time against the Vesquia Vapu deck? Both players are setting up, and Jackson did find a base Pokemon. Did Manny find one or not? Okay, there we go. Uh, once again... Both their maps look pretty cool, the Professor Matt and that Pikachu Charizard map. But here we go, and we see a, uh, uh, I'm not sure, wait, what, what Pokemon is that on the left? I can't tell what it is right now. I guess it's a Froakie, it looks kind of green, but <laughs> I thought it was a green Pokemon. I was like, what's, that's a Combi. Uh, but we see a Trainer's Mill, grab an AZ, and an unknown start for Manny is probably not the best, of course. Um, you definitely want to start with the Oddish, maybe a Combi. We see a Shave coming down, drawing just one card. Now, he does have the AZ in his hand, so maybe he can play it, uh, pick up the Shaman, put it back down, draw more cards. A Forest of Giant Plants does hit the field, and can Manny get this turn one Vileplume online or not? That's the big question. Both players are, okay, oh, okay, so AZ pick up the Unknown, actually. All right, interesting play. Uh, unknown coming down. And will we see a Feral Letter? He does have a Skyline in his hand, but he already played the AZ. We'll see Shaman drawing just two. Or three, all right. An uh, Oddish comes down. We see a Feral Letter going to draw a card. Can he find an Ultra Ball? Let's see what's in his hand. We'll see a Battle Compressor. This might discard multiple Oddishes, but I know last time we saw Manny play, he discarded like, uh, you know, Combi, Vesquane, and Valpoom. Looks like he's going to discard a Combi, Gloom, and a Toxicroak. Uh, Toxicroak is pretty much useless in this matchup. You really don't need it at all. All right. And let's see. It looks like I can't tell what dice that is. I, that's true. I can't see what it is. But we see Gloom coming down. We see a Valpum and just a pass. So turn one Valpum does come online. But Manny's already played his one AZ. We see a Water Energy and we'll see a Bounce. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And that's a head. So that Shaman is paralyzed if I remember correctly. Yeah, that is. Uh, oh, by the way. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, uh, that, that, that shame is sleeping, but it should be paralyzed. Uh, but man, that, that, that bounce, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, but on a Mandy's turn, we see a Skyla. This could search out a Sycamore. Now, what could happen is, you know, Jackson could lie into the Vileplume and pretty much win that way. Manny doesn't play another AZ, and that Vileplume will be stuck there. And let's see what happens. A DC to the Shea Bay. And a pass on a Jack's turn. He gets the Frogadier out. Another Frogadier online. And we'll see a Water Duplicates. Water Energy to Bench Frog. And yeah, we'll see a Water Duplicates. Going to search out three Frogadiers. And it's not looking good for Manny. This Greninja is setting up under the item lock, which is not good at all. And let's see what happens. There's a Frog coming down. Does he find another one or not? Does Oh, no, yep, there's another one. So he does get all four Frogs out. Turn number two, even an item log. So that just proves how strong, you know, Greninja could be. And we see Manny draw a card, and let's see what happens. We know he has Sycamore in his hand. There's Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. It looks like there's six Pokemon in the discard pile, so a B Revenge will do 80 times two for weakness, 160. We see a Combi coming down. We see a Feral Letter going to draw a card, so that'd be seven now, which can knock out a Greninja break. And does Manny find another Combi? We see a DC going out of Combi. 
Because what could happen is he could promote the, uh, oh, oh, Shaman, there we go. That, it doesn't get fair with letter, but there we go, Shaman. Does he find a Vesta Queen? Because if he promotes this Combi, Combi could be knocked out next turn. We might just see a Sky Return. Let's see. Does he find a Vesta Queen or not? That's what he really, really needs right now. He might have to Sky Return to another Shaman. Uh, that's probably not a bad idea either. But let's see what he decides to do. Uh, let's see. Does he play the Shaman or not? That's the big question. And, hmm, let's see. Okay, so Combi coming down. And, I mean, he can Sky Return to something maybe the other Combi and let that Combi get knocked out without the DC. So, C30 on Tide Frog there. On a Jack's turn, let's see what happens. And, uh, I mean, he still doesn't have a supporter card, but there's a Greninja. This is the Miss Slash one. It will take a knockout, doing 50 to that Combi. And, oh, to Manny's turn, let's see what happens. Going to send that Combi. And can he find a Vest Queen or not? He does have a Shebe in his hand. Maybe he could DC Shebe or something. Maybe hit a uh, Combi. Is he a DC to the Shaman? And can he find one? But there's a Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven new cards. And will we see a Vest Queen come online or not? There's seven cards in his hand. And there's a Vest Queen. So we will start we will start seeing B Revenge over and over again. And Kobe comes down as well. And we will see a B Revenge for the knockouts. Alrighty. And on a Jackson's turn, he'll probably okay, I was gonna say maybe the Greninja with the water energy. Uh, but we just see a pass, so maybe his hand is just really bad. And we're going to start seeing Beer Avengers over and over again. There's a Skyla going to search out for maybe a Lysander. I'm not really sure what else he could Skyla for. Uh, looks like a Force of Giant Plants, but that doesn't really matter. Jackson doesn't play any stadium cards, if I remember correctly. And we'll just see a Beer Avengers for the knockouts. All right, on to Jackson's turn. Can he find something or not? That's the big question. It, I mean, it looked good for the Greninja player. He got down two, like... Four Frog and Deers, turn, turn two, but then it has gone downhill fairly quickly. But they were seen Ace Trainer, going to put Jackson at six and Manny at three. And let's see what can happen. Can Jackson find two Greninjas, preferably two Water Shuriken Ninjas to knock out this guy? Maybe one Water Shuriken and a regular Greninja. Then he can, you know, use Water Shuriken, then use his attack to take a knockout. And let's see what happens. Does he find any or not? He does have a Drachi in his hand. That can make things interesting. He can put down the Drachi. They maybe start as the falling turn. Uh, but, I mean, Vest Queen has free retreat, so it doesn't really hurt, hurt it that much. We see a Greninja comes down, and he could use the second attack, doing 80, picking up that water energy ticket. Not a knockout, it would be 10 damage short, so there's 80 damage. And I wonder for the next turn if he could find a, the other Greninja. If he does, he could Water Shark and knock out the Vest Queen. And let's see, what does Manny have? Does he have anything or not? But we'll just see a B Revenge for the knockout. Going to the three prize cards, and let's see, what does Jackson have? We'll see a Drachi. Water energy. He does have a Lysander. If he licenses that Valplume, he can he can pretty much just win the game if he licenses that Valplume. I'm pretty sure there was a Lysander's hand. He could have licensed the Valplume. I don't think Christian I mean I don't think uh Manny has any more I don't think he has any more AZs left in his deck. I'm pretty sure he just plays the one. I'm gonna check here in a second to just just don't make sure. But I'm like 99% sure that was a Lysander in his hand, just chilling. Just chilling there. He could have licensed up that Valplume. Oh man. But we see a Drachi take a knockout. Uh, Drachi will take a knockout. Then Drachi cannot be hurt next turn by Pokemon. Alrighty. So it did discard the DCE off that Pokemon. And let's see what happens on a Manny's turn. He can promote that Shaman. Maybe Sky Return for 30. But I mean, it doesn't do anything actually because he just used Stardust. And let's see what Manny decides to do. He does have a DC in his hand, but it really not do anything. There's a Vest Queen. We might just see a pass. No real need to put down the DCE because then it'll just get Stardusted away. And we'll see a retreat into the Shaman. We'll see a Sky Return. Maybe promote the Vespa Queen. Um, not sure which is the better one to promote. Uh, we'll see a Sky Return for 30, okay. And let's see who decides. Oh, for nothing, sorry. It does nothing. And we'll see Va Vespa Queen coming up into the act spot, alright. And can Jackson retreat this Drachi? That's the big question. He needs to retreat the Drachi. Send him the Frog in. Okay, he's going to look at his thought he's going to say pass. I was like, please don't say pass. Uh, but let's see. I'm going to look at me to pull up. His list, Manny's list, real quick. I'm pretty sure it's just the one AZ. I'm trying to see right now. But we see Wally going to get out a Greninja. All right. So we see finally Greninja coming online. And it is, I'm not sure which Greninja that is, though. That's the big question. What what Greninja is that? I can't I can't see it. That glare is pretty bad. But yeah, I'm looking at Manny's list. And he only plays the one AZ. If that was a Lysander, he would have been, in, oh, man. Jackson could have won this game for sure. But we see a treat into the Greninja. It is the... Uh, miss, oh no, the one that hits for 80. So once again, he can do 80 to this Vesta Queen. And the next turn, he can promote that Jirachi. Take a knock on the Vesta Queen. 
And things are going to get interesting for sure, but we might see an infinite sky return loop afterwards. That could be a fairly interesting thing. And let's see what Mandy decides to do. We're going to see Shaman draw some cards. And uh, we're going to see a beer bridge for the knockout. And on to Jack's turn, he's uh, going to approach that Drachi. Put the water energy, Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. And let's see what does he get. And let's see. He puts another Froki, rim right down. And we will see a Stardust knocking out this, this Ves Vessel Queen. And on a Mandy's turn, what we're going to start seeing now is probably just an infinite sky. Oh, he doesn't even have a DCE. Okay. All right. So, oh, man, things are getting interesting. And it's not looking good for Rescue Valfum. That's for sure. It is not looking good. All right. Let's see what happens. Can Jackson find a license to bring up this Valfum? That's the big question. And who has more cards left in the deck? Oh, man. That's gonna, I think it's going to come down to it. Who has more cards left in their deck? Uh, maybe... Maybe Manny decided not to Sky Return last turn because he had just been Stardusted, so it would it wouldn't have done any damage. So I can I can see why he didn't you know Sky Return if he has a DC. I know he has a DC in his hand from earlier though. So let's see what happens. What does Jackson have? Does he have the Life Center in his hand now? Uh, I mean he just Sycamore, so he can't use it right now. But let's see what Jackson decides to do. Will he retreat into a Froki or not? Oh man, let's see. He's gonna look to just Carpal one more time to see what's in there. Okay. And let's see what does he have? Oh man! I mean, if he get, he can start us for for ten, doesn't really do anything. A water goes down to Froki. He could retreat and use Froki and just use bounce and hit for ten, trying to paralyze it. That might actually be the best play in his in, in his thing right now. But no, just start us for ten. It doesn't really matter. We know he has a DC in his hand. We'll know we see a Sky Return for thirty. Then approach the other Shaman. All right, so he needs to retreat. Send up the, the Froki and try to use Bounce to paralyze it. That's his best route to go right now. Or can he find a Lysander to bring up the Valpum? There's Those are his two options. I know I see a Sycamore in his hand. I don't see a Lysander as of right now. I don't see an Energy either. But we see a Treat into the Froki. And we will see a Bounce. And let's see. Is that a Heads? It looks like it is a Heads. All right. So that Shaman is, you know, sleeper, not sleeping. It's paralyzed. So it cannot attack. Another Shaman coming down. And we'll probably just see a pass. I doubt he'll put a, a special energy to the active. So a pass. On a Jackson turn. Can he find this license or not to bring up this Valpo? I'm like pretty sure I saw. A, a, maybe that wasn't a license. We'll just say that wasn't a license of what we saw. But there we see Sky Return. First 30. On to Afrogi. On a Jackson turn. Once again, he's going to try to go for a bounce. Trying to paralyze this Shamus. There are no Frogadiers left in his deck either. That whatever he has, that's what he has. We see Sycamore go discard his hand, draw seven new cards. But if he does this, I'm pretty sure he'll have less cards than Manny. Maybe not. I am not sure. But can he find the Lysander or not? Or can he hit heads on this Froki? And let's see what happens. And there's another Tails. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, there's way more cards in Jackson's deck. Can he find the Lysander or not? Another shame come down. DC is for 30. I would promote the Froki. Uh, yep, Froki comes up. And let's see, does he have a life center or not? Looks like he does have a water energy. So we'll see another Froki in. Okay, there's a head. So paralyzing that shaman one more time. And let's see what happens. We'll probably just see a pass. Most likely can't really do anything. Uh, yep. And we'll see a pass. Okay. And let's see what happens. Does he find the life center or not? We'll probably see another Froki attack. Uh, for sure. Gonna look to see how many cards are left in the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's more than seven left. Okay. But he probably can't Sycamore anymore. If he Sycamores, he probably just loses the game. And I'm not sure what just happened. What? What just? I'm not sure what just happened. Uh, all of a sudden, the games are being picked up. I am not. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll find out in a second. Um. What's going to happen? Um, I'm not sure who won or lost. I'm so confused all of a sudden. They just picked up the cards and that was it. Okay, so both players are setting up one more time. And we'll see what happens in game number two. I'm, I don't know who won. I, I, I literally don't know what just happened. Um, but both players are setting up one more time. Going to get seven cards and uh, we'll see what happens. I, I am so confused right now. Alright, but we'll see. Uh, whoever goes first probably lost the game. Uh, they scoop for some reason. I'm not sure why, though. That's the big question. I'm not sure what just happened, but both players are going to set up one more time, and let's see what happens. Whoever goes first probably lost because the way uh, best two out of three works, whoever loses gets to decide do they go first or second, and you always want to go first just about nowadays in this meta. But, man, I, I, don't, I don't know what just happened. 
who who just won? I am I am not sure. But here we go one more time. Now both he, Jackson did Mulligan. Gonna set up one more time. Let's see what does he get. Looks like he did get a frog a froggy out, and let's see six prizes come down. And let's see who starts the game. All right. And we see a handshake. It looks like Manny actually scooped the game uh, because he is going first. And I imagine, I, I don't imagine Jackson gave him the turn one. I, I can't see that happening. But we see a love ball. Going to get out of shadow, okay? And can Manny get to turn one, bob him or not? Now, Jackson, he has the life center in his hand. So, once again, he could life center this vile plume. We know Manny does not play any flow stones. He just plays the one AZ to pick up his vile plume. All righty. Let's see. There's a combi. DC to the bench combi. And we see a Shaman drawn up to six. And let's see, what does he have? Okay. And uh, is, is this turn over? That'd be very, okay. Nope. Sycamore discarding a Revitalizer, Vileplume, and some other stuff. It looks like it was just all Pokemon. I'm not 100% sure what it was, but it definitely seemed like it was just a bunch of Pokemon. We see a Trainer Smell. Look at the top four cards of his deck. And let's see what he grabs. He's going to grab the Ultra Ball. He can Ultra Ball first Shave A. Set up, draw more cards. And can he get the turn one Vileplume out or not? He did discard one Revitalizer. And that's why I kind of like Love Ball instead of Revitalizer. He could have used the Love Ball. Maybe grab an Unknown to Feral Letter later on. But he decided to play the Revitalizer. I mean, both are pretty okay. Doesn't really matter. But let's see what Manny decides to do. We're going to see an Ultra Ball discarding a Skyla. And let's see what the other card is going to be. Uh, wait for it, wait for it, and an AZ, so the AZ is, get, is getting discarded one more time, so all Jackson has to do is Lysander up this Oddish, I just Vile Plume, once the Vile Plume comes online, all, all Jackson has to do is Lysander up, we see a Shaman drawing six new cards, okay, we see a Battle Compressor gun discard three cards out of his deck, and let's see what he decides to discard, alrighty, let's see what are those three cards going to be, and he is looking... Maybe at three Oddishes and two Oddishes and Kombi? Um, not sure, but we'll find out here in a second what he's going to discard. Just looks like he's looking through his deck to see what's all in there. Make sure he knows what's prized and what's uh, what's in his deck for sure. So we see two Oddishes and maybe the Toxic Croak. I think he already discarded Toxic Croak, though. We see a Gloom being discarded as well. Alrighty. And can Manny continue going on this? Can he keep on going or not? Or is the, I guess, is the, the train stopped? I guess it's the correct thing to say. But let's see what happens. Uh, does he have the Gloom Vileplum in his hand? What's that one card? Another Ultra Ball. Okay. Discarding. Oh, wait. Look through the discard pile. He's probably going to opt to get another Shaman out. Most likely. Uh, that, that's what I think he'd grab. Uh, discarding Gloom. And a... Wait for it. Wait. For, and a DCE. So another DC be discarded. That means there's only two DCs left overall. Either in the deck or in the prize cards. All right, so we see a Shave coming all down, and we might see a setup for five. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right, let's see. Can he find a Gloom and a Vileplume? That's the big... He actually needs a Forest of Giant Plants. That's his main problem. He doesn't have Forest out, so he can't actually evolve into anybody right now, which is the problem he is having. And let's see what else does Manny have. Does he have the Forest of Giant Plants, and does he have a Gloom, a Vileplume, and his hand or not? Does not look like Manny is happy right now. All right. Which is not good. We'll see a pass. Wow. So a pass. Turn one. All right. On a Jack's turn. Let's see what happens. He does have a Lysander. So once again, he could just Lysander up an Oddish, maybe, and make it where Manny has to replace, have to use a DC to retreat it. He definitely needs to get into the Pokemon down. Uh, but let's see what he decides to do. He's currently using Battle Compressor. Um, and let's see what three cards he's going to discard. Maybe just one. He looks like he's eyeballing the Judge. Okay. So he's going to discard a Judge. Maybe a Sycamore, an Ace Trainer, okay. And what's the third card going to be? Maybe a, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. He's deciding which one to discard. And wait for it. Wait, what's the third card going to be? And a Fisherman. That's what it seems like it is right now. So Fisherman, Ace Trainer, and a Judge are being discarded, okay. And let's see what else is in Jackson hand. Does he have another Pokemon or not? Will he be a Seeker for a... A judge. It looks like we're going to see a VS Seeker. Let's see who he decides to get out. Looks like he's going to get a judge. Going to put both players at four cards. If I was Jackson, I might actually opt to play a Sycamore. To discard more cards out of my hand. Because we know Manny didn't really have anything. He kind of just passed saying, hey, I, I don't have anything. I don't even have a force of Giant Plants. So I don't know. I really want to give him a new hand of uh, four. Um, or a new hand overall. 
But I mean, four cards, maybe it's not, nothing to really work with. And let's see what happens. If we just see a pass, a Vest Queen comes down, Vest Queen comes down, and we'll see retreat and a B Revenge for the knockouts. And there we go. All right, so on the game number three. All right, wait, hold on, wait. Wait for it. Let's see what happens. Go to good game number three, and let's see what. Oh, hold on, wait, I'm, I'm confused. Did did Manny just win this? Hold on. I'm, I'm confused. Hold on. Wait, wait for it. And it looks like Manny actually won both games. Okay, so I guess that was game number two, and I guess Jackson must have scooped game number one. I am so... Did I miss up the game number one? Did, did Jackson somehow lose, and I just didn't see it? Maybe he, has, maybe he had less cards in his deck than Manny did. I am not 100% sure what just happened, but we saw Jackson not get a Pokemon in game number two, and he did lose the game, so Manny does advance to the finals, and I'm kind of confused as to what happened in game number one. Hopefully, they clarify in the comments, but hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I mean, Vest Queen just kind of just took out a knockout on Froki turn two when uh, Jackson didn't really have anything. He just passed with the Froki in the action spot, which is not good, but two Vest Queens came down, and they did take a knockout on that Froki, but hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.